The U.S. just dropped a tech bomb on China, and the shockwaves are hitting NVIDIA and AMD hard. In a bold new move, the U.S. government has tightened sanctions on advanced AI chips, cutting off a lifeline to one of the biggest markets in the world. Billions of dollars are now at stake. NVIDIA's China-ready H20 chip? Blocked. AMD's new MI308? On the blacklist. And while China scrambles to respond with homegrown tech, American companies are caught in the middle of a geopolitical chess game. So who wins, who loses? Let's break it down. The future of AI could depend on it. In April 2025, the United States government made a game-changing move in its ongoing tech war with China. The Biden administration? Gone. Trump is back in office. And the return of a more aggressive stance on China is already sending shockwaves across the global semiconductor industry. At the heart of the new conflict is one of the most valuable resources of the 21st century, AI chips. These advanced processors power everything from ChatGPT to surveillance systems and military simulations. And for years, Chinese tech giants like Alibaba, Tencent, and ByteDance have relied heavily on US-designed chips, especially from NVIDIA and AMD. But not anymore. In a sweeping escalation, the US Department of Commerce announced it would tighten export controls on high-performance chips to China, targeting AI accelerators like NVIDIA's H20 and AMD's MI308. These chips were initially redesigned to meet earlier restrictions from 2023. Now even those lower spec variants are no longer allowed without a special export license, and that license is nearly impossible to get. The official reason? National security. The US claims that AI chips could be used by the Chinese military for advanced weapon systems, facial recognition in surveillance states, or even cyber warfare. And with tensions rising over Taiwan, South China Sea operations, and espionage accusations, Washington is not willing to take chances. But behind the national security argument, there's also an economic battle unfolding. The US doesn't want China catching up in AI, and cutting off their access to the most powerful chips is a direct way to slow them down. So how did China respond? Reports suggest that Chinese tech firms went on a buying spree in Q1 2025, stockpiling millions of NVIDIA H20 and AMD MI308 chips before the ban officially took effect. It was a classic move. Beat the sanctions clock before the door slammed shut. But even those emergency shipments may not be enough. The Chinese market accounts for roughly 20-25% of NVIDIA's data center revenue. That's not just a side hustle, it's a major part of their business. And AMD, while smaller in the AI space, had big plans to expand in China this year. All of that is now at risk. What's more, the sanctions have a global ripple effect. American chipmakers don't just lose revenue, they also risk losing long-term market share to competitors, and companies in Taiwan, South Korea, and Europe are watching closely, trying to position themselves for opportunity or fallout. Meanwhile, Chinese companies like Huawei and SMIC are accelerating efforts to become self-sufficient, pouring billions into domestic chip development. But catching up to NVIDIA's CUDA ecosystem or AMD's ROCM software stack? That won't happen overnight. The semiconductor war is heating up fast, and the first major casualties may already be on the battlefield. If there's one company that feels the burn of these sanctions more than anyone else, it's NVIDIA. NVIDIA's rise to dominance in the AI space has been nothing short of spectacular. Over the last five years, its data center revenue skyrocketed, driven by insatiable demand for GPUs powering machine learning, large language models, and cloud computing. China played a huge role in that growth, but with the new sanctions, NVIDIA has lost access to one of its most critical export markets. And the timing couldn't be worse. To comply with the 2023 restrictions, NVIDIA had designed a line of sanctions-friendly chips, like the H800 and H20, which offered limited performance compared to the flagship H100, but were still capable of running powerful AI models. These chips were created specifically for Chinese customers, a workaround that allowed NVIDIA to keep selling without breaking US rules. That loophole just got slammed shut. The latest sanctions ban even these downgraded chips unless NVIDIA receives a license, and experts agree that's unlikely to happen. The result? A potential loss of over $5.5 billion in projected sales to China this fiscal year. To put that into perspective, NVIDIA made just under $60 billion in revenue last year. So yes, China matters.
What's worse, the move threatens NVIDIA's long-term position in the Chinese market. While companies like Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent rush to buy H20 chips ahead of the restrictions, those stockpiles won't last forever. And once they're gone, Chinese firms will either turn to domestic alternatives like Huawei's Ascend chips, or rebuild AI infrastructure around competing hardware and open-source software. Both scenarios hurt NVIDIA. Adding to the challenge, NVIDIA can't simply reroute all that lost inventory to other markets. U.S. Cloud giants, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, are already saturated with H100s and newer B100s. There's only so much demand to go around. In response, NVIDIA is reportedly working on yet another chip variant tailored to stay under the new export performance thresholds. But designing, testing, and mass-producing a new AI GPU takes time. And time is exactly what NVIDIA doesn't have in this race. Bottom line, NVIDIA isn't going out of business. But its once dominant position in China is fading fast. And in the brutal world of semiconductors, once you lose ground, it's incredibly hard to win it back. While NVIDIA grabs most of the headlines, AMD is also feeling the heat from U.S. sanctions, just in a slightly different way. Over the past year, AMD has been pushing hard to catch up in the AI race. Their MI300 series, especially the new MI308, is designed to challenge NVIDIA's dominance in data centers and high-performance computing. And until recently, China was expected to be a key market for these chips. But now, that door is closing fast. Just like NVIDIA's H20, AMD's MI308 has been caught in the crossfire of the new export rules. Though the MI308 was initially designed to meet older compliance standards, it still exceeds the updated performance limits imposed by the U.S. Department of Commerce in April 2025. That means AMD is now blocked from shipping these chips to China without a special export license. Early estimates suggest AMD could lose up to $800 million in potential revenue this year because of the ban. That number might not sound catastrophic, especially compared to NVIDIA's multi-billion dollar exposure, but for AMD, it's significant. The company is still building its AI customer base, and China offered a fast growth opportunity. Losing access to that demand slows momentum at a critical time. What makes it even trickier for AMD is that its AI ecosystem, ROCM, is still playing catch-up with NVIDIA's CUDA platform. Convincing companies outside of China to switch to AMD GPUs is already a challenge. Without the Chinese market to help scale and prove performance, that challenge just got harder. Still, AMD isn't backing down. CEO Lisa Su has emphasized the company's long-term commitment to AI acceleration, and AMD is investing heavily in R&D, software support, and strategic partnerships. In fact, AMD just announced plans to open a new AI research hub in Singapore to support global deployment, a clear sign they're thinking beyond China. There's also speculation that AMD, like NVIDIA, is working on a sanctions-compliant GPU variant to regain limited access to Chinese customers. But again, time, cost, and uncertainty make this a tough play. In the meantime, AMD will focus on partnerships with U.S. cloud providers and enterprise customers. It's a safer market, but also a more competitive one, especially with NVIDIA's deep entrenchment. For AMD, the sanctions are more than a setback. They're a test. Can the underdog turn adversity into innovation? Or will the chip war freeze its AI ambitions before they fully ignite? The U.S. may have tightened the screws, but China isn't sitting idle. Almost immediately after the latest sanctions were announced, Chinese tech companies ramped up efforts to reduce their dependence on U.S. chips. And at the center of this push is Huawei. Once crushed under U.S. sanctions in 2019, Huawei has made an astonishing comeback. In 2023, it shocked the world by releasing the Mate 60 Pro smartphone with a domestically produced 7 nanometer chip, defying expectations and demonstrating real progress in chip making. Now in 2025, Huawei is bringing that same determination to AI. Their latest AI accelerator, the Ascend 910B, and now the rumored Ascend 9110D, is already being deployed in Chinese data centers. While not yet on par with NVIDIA's H100 in raw power or ecosystem maturity, these chips are good enough for many local applications. And most importantly, they're not subject to U.S. control. But Huawei isn't alone. The Chinese government has poured billions into semiconductor subsidies. Fast-tracking efforts by companies like SMIC, Cambricon, and Beren Technology to build competitive domestic alternatives. 
Even though these firms still face limitations, like access to extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV, they are finding creative ways to work around them, and the pressure to innovate just got more intense. Without reliable access to NVIDIA and AMD chips, Chinese firms like Alibaba Cloud, Baidu, and Tencent are re-architecting their AI infrastructure. That means switching to open-source software alternatives, developing custom chips in-house, and focusing on long-term technological independence. It's not just about survival. It's about winning the next phase of the AI war. Some analysts believe the U.S. sanctions may actually accelerate China's self-sufficiency, similar to what happened in the solar industry a decade ago. Back then, China started behind. Now it dominates. The key risk for the U.S.? If Chinese companies succeed in building a viable closed-loop AI ecosystem without American components, that market may be lost forever, and so will the influence that came with it. So, while NVIDIA and AMD bleed revenue in the short term, China is playing a longer game, one where domestic control, not foreign technology, defines the future. And with Huawei leading the charge, the world may soon be facing a two-polar AI economy, split between Western and Chinese ecosystems, each innovating on its own terms. The U.S.-China chip war is no longer just a regional power struggle. It's reshaping the entire global tech landscape. The new sanctions have not only disrupted supply chains and corporate strategies, they've sent a powerful signal to the world. AI is now a matter of national security. And that means governments, corporations, and investors everywhere are rethinking how they approach technology development, trade, and even diplomacy. Let's break down the global impact. First, the most immediate fallout is in the markets. NVIDIA's stock took a hit following the news, wiping billions in market cap in just days. AMD followed, with analysts downgrading earnings forecasts due to limited access to Chinese customers. For investors, this marks a new era of geopolitical risk baked into tech stocks. Second, we're seeing a new wave of AI protectionism. Countries like India, Japan, and Germany are now investing heavily in domestic AI infrastructure, seeking to avoid over-reliance on U.S. or Chinese chips. The logic is clear. In a divided world, being neutral means being self-reliant. Third, the fragmentation of the AI ecosystem is accelerating. Until now, NVIDIA's CUDA was the global standard. But with China building around Huawei's Ascend platform and open-source AI frameworks, we're heading toward two parallel AI stacks. This could make global collaboration harder and software compatibility a serious headache. Meanwhile, U.S. allies in Asia, like South Korea and Taiwan, are walking a tightrope. On one hand, they rely on the U.S. for defense and markets. On the other, China remains a critical trade partner. Semiconductor giants like TSMC and Samsung now face mounting pressure to pick sides or diversify even further. And finally, there's a race for alternatives. Tech startups and chip designers in Europe and Southeast Asia are seizing the opportunity to fill gaps left by the sanctions. Some may fail, but others could emerge as the next big players in the post-sanction semiconductor world. So what does this all mean for the future? The battle over AI chips is more than just a tech fight. It's about who controls the next wave of innovation, influence, and power. As the US and China pull further apart, the rest of the world is being forced to choose, align, adapt, or innovate independently. One thing is certain, the global AI landscape will never be the same again.